Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano of the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are answering is what's in the box in regards to this? Not Dice Squared from Black Oak Games. So this is an expansion for Not Dice, which is this game, which you can also find unboxing videos of that I've already recorded. Um, this is the first expansion, first and only expansion for Not Dice. This does require that you have a copy of Not Dice to play, which is important to know. This includes 10 games to play with Not Dice and six new puzzle types, 24 new, 26 dice, four wooden discs, one book of games, one book of puzzles. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna show you what all of that looks like. Alrighty, so here we have the box for Not Dice Squared. You can see the back of the box here, it just shows the contents. Not a lot going on here. And we are gonna open this up. Look at that, ton of really nice looking green dice with very unique looking patterns. So the sides we have here is, there's different types here. So these are not all the same. So this one has a whole bunch of curves on it that are very different than the curves you got in the original dice as well as a pointy end. Now that is the same, but this is definitely different. We have a bunch of very straight lines and straight edges. And I think those are the two types of dice. Yeah, we have curve, curve. That's more of the same curves. More straight edges, straight edges. Oh, here's a combination of straight edges and curves. So a few different dice types in here, which is pretty cool. I'm trying to see, hopefully I don't miss any other types here. Those are the curves, those are straight. That's a combination. That's a combination, that's a combination. Straight, curves, 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 combination, curves, straight, straights, curves. Nope, this is a combination too. I don't even know now. There's so many different types of dice here. So there you go. We have a whole bunch of dice in here. We also have some new tokens and counters that actually map, uh, match. Oh, we have more dice hiding. Thank you, chat room. We have more dice hiding here. And we do have some counters in both orange and purple. How these are used is gonna vary depending on which game you're playing. So we have orange and purple counters. And well, a whole bunch of new dice for not dice. So just to compare them, this is a die from night not dice with those sides compared to some of these new ones from not dice squared. A lot of pokey edges. and even more curvy pieces. What I want to know, and I think other people want to know, is that both these fit in the same box, which we'll try in a minute. So next, we're gonna take this apart. We're gonna get out the books. So here we have a book of puzzles. It's gonna start off right away with all kinds of different Creation puzzles, um, how paths work. So it does reintroduce the basics. It does show, so there you go. There are one, two, four different types of dice in here. I couldn't even tell taking it apart. So you have four different types of dice included in Not Squared. I have to assume one of these is the original game. Yeah, the top set, the crossed X is the original set. So three new types of dice are included in Not Dice Squared. So we have creation puzzles. Wow, there's a lot of them. Just waves of puzzles. 
whole bunch of patterns to build here. Completion puzzles one, completion puzzles two. Transformation puzzles, so the same puzzle types that were in the original game. Some neat looking patterns you can make with these dice, that's for sure. Simultaneous puzzles, I'm not even sure what that one means. Lots of cool things to keep you occupied and play solo. So we are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six different types of puzzles just in the puzzle book here. And then games to play with not dice squared. Again, it introduces four different types and the way paths work. And then we have Get Me Knots. I like the name of that game. So how many different games do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight new games. Get Me Knots, Hedgerows. This looks like an interesting 3D one. Nice big text here, lots of color examples, Not So Fast, Kells, The Book of the Abbey, Not So Fast 2, Not the Whole Story, Distance, Minarets, I think some of these would be the same games but with new dice in them. So that's it, that's what you get here in Not Dice Squared, but what I really want to know is how well is all of this going to fit back in the base game box, because that is what I would like to do, is to keep all of this in one place. So this is the base game box here. We're going to take this part. We're going to take this box insert out. And we're going to see if we can fit all the dice. So there we have all the original dice. It's going to be a tight fit if this fits at all. Oh, it's going to be so close. But no dice. Well, lots of dice. So no. I'm a little disappointed in that. I think they should have made the not dice squared box big enough to hold both. So at this point, if you pick up not dice and not dice squared, you're going to need to keep both these boxes or find some other way to store the game. So that's a little disappointing. I would have been much happier if all of this would have fit in one box. So we're going to take these back out and put them back into their respective boxes. That's disappointing. I would I would have much been ha much happier if both these games would have fit in one box. All right, ta-da, not dice squared, expansion for not dice. All right, so there you have it, what you get inside the box for not dice squared from Black Oak Games. Again, this is an expansion for not dice, including three new dice types. Uh, really high quality dice, awesome looking dice, they're actually etched, it's not just painted on, you're not going to scratch off the, uh, the patterns that are on here, extremely well made, whole bunch of new games to play, 10 new games, 6 new puzzle types. Really looks impressive. I'm looking forward to digging into this, uh, both as a game, uh, multiplayer and as solo, playing around with the puzzles. So thank you again, Black Oak Games, for sending a copy of this. And uh, for Tabletop Bellhop, uh, good night. Game on. Have a good night. Um, if you are looking for more of our content, you can find that at tabletopbellhop.com. That's our webpage, as well as other places on the internet and social media as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. For those of you on YouTube, click the little I button to get cards that will lead you to all that stuff. So you don't have to, you know, type in stuff into a web browser. Uh, also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to tip your bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. That's it for me tonight. Have a good night and game on.